Hey guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to create finished good material in SAP. So go to MM01 T code and you have to select the industry sector. So I select uh, this one and you have to give the material type. Standard material type for finished good is FERT. Uh, select that one. And for the easiness, I'm going to copy from existing material number. So, but you can, if you want, you can start from the beginning, right? So if I double click, then here you need to select the views that you use for this finish good. Here I have selected the basic data one, basic data two, and you have to select the classification if only you are using the classification for the finish good. Uh, <clears throat> it's a must to select the sales organization data one and the sales organization data two and uh, general plant data as well. So, if you are not purchasing this finished goods in from the other party, you don't need to select this purchasing view. And MRP one two three four is mandatory. If you are creating a production orders, if you do the in-house production you need to select work scheduling otherwise you can't create the production orders and select general uh, plant general data uh, one and plant general data two so if you're using quality management you can select that as well accounting one two costing one two is a must okay so then select the organization level i'm going to copy from the existing one Okay. and I give the here you have to give the uh, organization levels that you need to create the material okay right okay here you have to remove this material code and you have to enter and again i will select this one okay okay then i press enter now you are in the first screen basic data one yeah you can give the description uh, of the this material so i give description like this and the base unit of measure and you have to you can select the material group the divisions and the general item category should be <coughs> norm and here you can give the gross weight and the net weight it is important to give this uh, gross weight and net weight net weight otherwise when you raise the sales order you have to enter these things manually so go to basic data two here uh, you don't need to fill anything and then press enter sales organization data one <coughs> it automatically fills some data from the basic data views if your sales unit of measure is different from the base unit of measure you can give the sales unit to measure here and you have to maintain the equation in this additional data and here you can give the tax code whether the tax liable or not liable for this material and in sales organization data to account assignment category group is a must you should select this one and then in MRP one <coughs> you have to select the MRP type so if you run the MRP and if you uh, create the production orders and plan orders, uh, purchase orders, then you should give the PD MRP type and your lot sizing select EX and MRP controller is a mandatory field. So select that one as well. Now go to MRP2 here, procurement type. If <coughs> you produce this finished goods only from inside your factory then you can select in-house production 
if you purchase this one you can select external procurement right if you do both you can select the both procurement type so this material i i only do the production in house in the factory so i select e right here it is important to give the this uh, production or storage location the storage location that you are going to give here will automatically come to uh, your production order when you create the production order backlash indicator also important so i give always backlash okay <clears throat> so when you create a raw material this is a finished good so if you select this uh, one here then uh, you create a bomb using that raw material and these finished goods uh, then you create a production order then if you go to production order confirmation that component will show in the production order confirmation good movement screen if you didn't select that one it will not come to back pass production order confirmation co11 screen okay uh, it will come it will visible in co27 peak list okay okay that part done so <coughs> If you need, you can give the in-house production time and plan delivery times in the material master. Okay. And this one, the most important one. Strategy group is most important thing in production and planning. So there are mainly two uh, production types. First one is MTO, make to order production. And second one is MTS. MTO means you start the production once you got the sales order from the customer. If you are using the MTO, you need to select a strategy type 20. And if you do MTS, then you have to select strategy type 10. So, except these two, there are so many uh, strategies uh, that has different different functions functions there. Okay, and this availability check here I have select two. That's individual requirement. Since I am <coughs> do the uh, make to order production, I need to check the availability for individual sales order or deliveries. Okay. And now MRP for here yeah, individual collective requirement. Here yeah, I have select one individual requirement only. Okay. And the work schedule this window is also very important right if you didn't accept accept this window when you create the finished good it means you can't create the production order it will give the error here you can main give the production supervisor production scheduling profile and uh, production units if it is different from the base unit of measure you can give and in plant data storage one uh, here I, I have not given any additional information if your <coughs> stock keeping unit is different than the unit of is issue it means uh, you keep this material in meters but you issue to the production or to customers by uh, kilogram then you can maintain that as well here okay in plant storage data to the gross weight net weight is also there it is automatically filled from the basic data fields okay. here you can give the profit center field profit center is a mandatory field we have to fill that one right now i am in the quality management window okay so if your plant runs the quality so you need to extend this window okay now go to inspection setup and here you can uh, at the inspection type okay there are a lot of inspection inspection types each inspection type has different functionalities so take a time and uh, learn about it so if you select 04 it means after you do the production order confirmation the stock will go to quality okay you have to give active and press that one and accounting one okay 
so here these information are already filled so you have to give the valuation class this is important this is a mandatory field <coughs> and the price control how you select the price control for finished good i'll give you one tip normally if you do production for make to order stock right here you should select the standard price it means without the customer order you know about the customer demand you create the stocks and keep it right then select the standard price then there is another a transaction to run the production order cost estimate okay but i uh, recommend you to use more valuation control moving average price here i have to standard price and valuation moving average price if you are using mto scenario make to order it means if you do the production only based on uh, customer order right then you can do the costing in sales order level right so you can you are feel free to select the valuation control moving average here because you can analyze the cost by sales order level okay initially when you uh, create the material you can give a price okay let's say 100 okay now in accounting one you don't need to fill any thing anything is these things are not mandatory but you can this if you're using you can fill this field so I'm, I, I will not be able to explain each and every field in this material master because uh, there are a lot of fields it is up to you to select the these fields or not okay here yeah, uh, with quantity structure is you have to select that one and the variance key you can select okay and under costing two it has the value that you that you already filled in uh, accounting one if in that in that uh, window if you select the standard price so you can run the cost estimate using ck 40 n after that you can see the costing for the period future current previous period in here material master as well right now i have done the creating of the material master for this finished goods so i'm going to save it done now if you run your material list see you can see your material in mm60 so that's it guys <coughs> Please subscribe my YouTube channel to get the notification for more videos in future. Thank you very much.